In this video, I'm going to start uh, the series about social relationships. Now, folks who are enrolled in my class, uh, if you're following along in the textbook, this might be the point where you start noticing, gee, the chapter on social psychology is kind of long. And it is. There's a, there are a lot of topics that fall under that, into this, the subfield of social psychology. Since this is an introductory survey course, I really don't have enough time to really give any one of those topics, you know, their full justice. Now, the topics I'm getting ready to go over in particular, I could go into way more detail, talk about lots more studies, lots more research. Um, you know, so just keep in mind if you are interested in these topics, and I know I say this a lot, but if you're interested in these topics, you could take further classes. You could take social psychology uh, or even some so sociology classes. Um, go over these topics. All right. And, and also, if you are if you're just want to see more in-depth videos made by me uh, in on this YouTube channel and my playlist, Teaching Social Psychology, um, I do have some videos where I go into a little bit more detail about these. All right, so what are we talking about? What, what are these topics that, that need more time? Uh, the first thing that we are going to talk about is prejudice. We're going to differentiate prejudice, discrimination, and stereotypes. Terms that I'm, I'm sure you've probably heard before at some point, just you know, paying attention to the world, possibly in an educational setting. But uh, for this class, the main thing I need to make sure is that you know the definitions, you know the difference in these definitions. So to prepare you for any future class where they start going into more detail, you, you know the basics about, about these terms and sort of the, the classic, the biggest studies relevant to these terms. All right, so the first, the first one that I'm going to go over is prejudice. What is prejudice? A lot of times when people hear prejudice, they instantly think racial prejudice, because at least in the United States, that one gets the most attention. Uh, but prejudice itself is more general. This includes any negative learned attitude, there's that word attitude from before, toward individuals or groups of people. So if you have this attitude like, hey, I don't like that group of people, that's a prejudice. Now, it doesn't have to be racial prejudice, even though that sort of, for various reasons, that gets a lot of attention. But this can be pretty much anything that you might want to, a lot of things that you might want to stick an ism on or a phobia on, like things like ageism, sizeism. Uh, if you don't know sizeism, that's when you uh, have negative attitudes towards people because of the, the size of their body. Ageism, having negative attitudes towards people because of their age. It could be because they have old age or young age, depending on the individual and what their attitudes are. You also have some things that you might it, it put phobia on, like homophobia, transphobia. Uh, there are researchers who have pointed out that those two, you know, instead of saying homophobia or transphobia, because phobia means fear, and it's not some, I mean, it may be rooted in fear, but really it's more of a prejudice, so we should say things like sexual prejudice instead of hom homophobia, but those, those words are, are widely used. Um, what other types of, of prejudice exist? Think about it. Think about different negative attitudes that people might have about a group of people. I'm teaching in the South, all right? Uh, if, when I'm teaching in person, sometimes I'll ask folks, hey, have you ever traveled outside of the South? Um, did you ever experience anyone thinking or expecting certain things of you because you are from the South? And was it ever sort of a, in a negative, a negative way? All right, so people might have negative attitudes towards people from the South that would be a type of prejudice too. People sometimes will describe professors in a way that's not very flattering, that's very negative. You know, like they are know-it-alls, they think they know everything. They do that in such a way that it reflects a prejudice towards professors. Or if you had a professor who had negative attitudes towards college students in general, that could be a prejudice towards college students. I'm really hoping that anyone enrolled in my classes would never suspect that I have such prejudices, but I will, you do hear the stories, or at least the suspicions. All right, so those are all examples of prejudice. Now, prejudice is often discussed um, 
uh, with another term that's related but a little different, and that's discrimination. So what is discrimination? Discrimination is based on prejudice. This is when you treat people differently based on your prejudice. So discrimination involves actual behavior, whereas prejudice involves attitudes, internal processes that you, you can't observe directly. So uh, discrimination, it's negative behavior towards members of a group solely as a result of their membership in that group. I am treating these people badly because they belong to a particular group. I, you know, and this could take many forms. You could be harassing people online just because they are part of a group that you don't like. You could refuse to serve people in your establishment if you have a business, uh, and that would be discrimination. You could not admit certain people into a school that you're in charge of uh, because of their membership in a particular group. Uh, any kind of differential treatment, anytime you're treating somebody differently because of their membership in a group, that's discrimination. Uh, and sometimes I'll have students, they'll, they'll give examples and they'll say, hey, does this count? Like what if somebody says, hey, I only date people from this particular group. I do not date people from this other group. Yeah, technically that is discrimination. And different discriminations may have different impact on a person's life, but technically any differential treatment that counts as discrimination. Now, some people over time, I'm gonna to try to put my book down without making a big noise. Some people over time will uh, try to downplay discrimination. Like, hey, what's the big deal? What's the big deal if people have prejudice? What's the big deal if it leads to discrimination? Is differential treatment that big of a deal? So people get treated differently. Is, you know, is that always, is that always harmful? Certain types of discrimination are more are obviously harmful than others, but your classic study that has to do with the impact of being treated differently um, is a famous study often called the doll study or the black doll, white doll study uh, conducted by Clark and Clark. Yes, they have the same last name. Can you guess why? Uh, they are, I believe, I hope I'm not saying it wrong, but I believe they are a married couple. Uh, it's Kenneth and, uh, ooh, what's her name? Clark, Mamie, Mamie, Kenneth and Mamie. Let me check real quick. Um, the Clarks. Yes, Kenneth and Mamie Clark. All right, I want to give Mamie credit because she is one of those pioneer, pioneers as a female in the field of psychological research. So what did they do? All right, and why? Why, why were they called in to do their research uh, in the first place? All right, so you may have heard of a famous Supreme Court case um, where they were trying to figure out if segregation uh, was, was harmful, segregation of schools, all right? Because most, most of my students are gonna be too young to remember, but in the American South, in my parents' time, but not in my time, but in the American South, you, if you were white or black, you went to separate schools. All right, there was segregation in schools. There was a white school, a black school. Other things were segregated too, like water fountains, businesses, hospitals. Yes, you had to go to a certain hospital based on your race too. Um, and so they were trying to figure out if they needed to desegregate the schools or if that was a problem that they were segregated in the first place. <coughs> So uh, in the Supreme Court case, um, Brown, versus, Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, Topeka, Kansas. All right. All right. So they needed, they needed some, some evidence. They needed some experts to come in. And so Clark and Clark presented the results of their, their doll study. I'm going to link to videos not by, made by me uh, uh, demonstrating the doll study, or possibly a replication of the original doll study. But the basic thing that you do is you present children with different dolls who have different skin colors. And they ask them uh, a variety of questions. One of them, which one of these dolls would you want to play with? Who do you think the children preferred to play with? Sometimes when I do this in class, I'll have students say, well, it probably depends on what they look like. I actually know pretty universally, no matter what the color of the child, uh, uh, the, no matter what the skin color, skin tone of the child that's being asked, generally, 
They preferred to play with the white doll. They would also also ask them questions like, which one do you which one do you think is the nice doll? Um, they would pick the lighter skin doll, the lighter tone doll. Uh, and just to check, they would ask the children, well, which one looks more like you? And they answered accurately about which one looks more like them. So the black participants in this study, they exhibited awareness that they were choosing the doll that did not look like them as more desirable, nicer, things like that. So this was evidence to show that keeping them separate, um, you know, separate was not equal. Because previously they said, hey, we have separate schools, but they're still equal. And they were trying to make the argument, well, how can you be equal? Separation by its very nature means that you are not being treated equally, right? And again, lots more discussion. would need to, to go into this to give it full justice. I'm giving you a sampling. So just you know the terms, you know the definitions. If somebody mentions the Clark and Clark black doll, white, white doll study, you know what it was. You know what I'm talking about. Now, there is another term that I do need to differentiate. And since this is going long, I'm going to do it in the next video. So I'm going to talk about stereotype in the next video.